So, let's make a video. And I really hope to start up more soon in the next couple of months. It's been crazy. But what do we got today? EJ Walks, I think is how you say that. We got a small fruit press. If you care, this is one that shows up on Amazon. You Google tabletop fruit press. Runs roughly around 100 bucks. So why did I pick up one of these? I'm doing wine, those of you that are following me. Um, and I thought it'd be really nice to do a press. If you ever tried to do wine, when you float the fruit, take it out, you know, you're losing a lot of juice. I, I suppose you can press it by hand a little bit. You can use a potato masher. It just doesn't seem really user friendly. So I picked up one of these and why this one? I really like that it had a stainless steel base or bowl, whatever you want to call it, and a stainless insert. And the other one I was looking at was on Pleasant Hill Farms, I believe it's called. And Amazon has it too. It was a little more money, I think about 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. I don't really care for the plastic base. Uh, I don't want this to do huge quantities. Just wanted to do pressing for small quantities of wine. So I wanted to pick up one of these. I do have a bigger one from Pleasant Hill this summer. Maybe we'll see that in action. But just kind of wanted to do an unboxing video. Uh, obviously doing more wine. So what do we got? Looks like it's packaged decently. So a styrofoam. Hmm. There it is. And what I also was intrigued by this one is it seemed it was supposed to have a better base or more a little sturdier. So we'll see what we got, how this guy works. And this should be simple in operation. I'm curious how it's going to work when you press the plastic handles. It's not a big deal. And I wanted something that had, was quite a bit lighter than the current one that I have downstairs, which is a big one from Pleasant Hill. I don't know what that one weighs in at, but it's heavy, I'll tell you that. So I, I wanted a smaller one that would, you know, a little grease there, that's awesome. Wanted a smaller one that I could use to press easier in small quantities in the basement. And then I wanted one that had a kind of an outer piece so it didn't squirt everything everywhere. And it's just a little piece of tubing and my hope is to float my fruit and then take the bag from the floated fruit and press the rest out we'll see how it works but that that's the goal and that's the hope so operation is pretty simple so far it looks like here here's what you get let me get rid of this, this piece of paper i'm gonna just set that aside it looked pretty simple to me. Here, here's a big selling point for me on this one. I hope I'm not disappointed, but internal stainless steel rack, perforated. That was my big selling point is stainless on this part of it. And stainless steel kettle, if you want to call it that, which simply inserts here. So my hope. And there, there is a bag. My hope is when I take the fruit, I'm able to lift it up. Well, that's the easy part. Get most of it squished in there like so. Press out the pulp of the floated fruit. Floated fruit. That's the goal with this guy. So I think it'll do the trick. And I'm going to try to do some wine videos coming up soon. Transferring is kind of a pain. I might try to show you that, my bottle one too, but kind of this is kind of what I wanted one of these good little guys for. It, it's way more user friendly for small batches than my big one. And like I say, I'll show them the big one. There's really nothing on the bottom, some screw holes so you could screw it down. I don't know what I'll do, I'm not going to press it on this counter, but I think even if you hold this down, you should be alright. And first impression. You know, it, it looks all right. I think it'll do the trick. I mean, it's not super heavy duty, but I didn't, wasn't really looking for a super heavy duty one. Everything, oh, that's aluminum, I think. Steel, powder, I wouldn't say it's powder coated, but it looks painted, plastic knobs, $100. You know, I, I think it'll do the trick for me, a little piece of hose. Well, whatever there. I mean, you always buy hose, but overall, for
first impression, $100. If it does the job, what I want it to do, I think I'll be happy. Some people press hash browns with it. I don't know, I'll be curious if any of you watching it have that other one that Pleasant Hill sells and Amazon sells, roughly around I think 140. This one's around 100 bucks. So like I said, my selling point was this. I didn't really want plastic. I mean, this I don't care about, but I, I'm not seeing any plastic on here except for the knobs and the cap. Um, that's just a threaded deal there, but that's still steel. Not overly insanely heavy duty. If I compare it to my Pleasant Hill, the big one, which I'll try to hopefully show in action this summer. The problem with that one, it presses like five or six gallons of fruit or more. Super heavy, super built nice, tough, but it also, it's very kind of difficult to manage, difficult to clean. So I thought this guy should work pretty good for what I'm doing. And I'll do a video on that. I want to test that out for you. I'm going to do some strawberry wine in the next couple months, but Figured you might want to see, some of you might be looking for a little press, and I think for a hundred bucks, if you're getting into winemaking, hopefully this will be worth it. But, like I said, I wanted to do another video, it hasn't been a while, I, I plan on doing more soon, and lots of things hopefully come with summer finally around the corner. But, just want to kind of do an unboxing video, show you what you actually get when you get one of these EJ Watt press. Let me grab this too. You get a bag with it, which I'm not overly excited about. It's fine, but I'm going to use my bigger bags. And yeah, that one clearly is going to fit in there. And it expands. But that's my goal. So we'll see what happens. And when I get this guy in action, I'll do the next video. So hopefully you're glad to see another video. And hopefully in the near future, we can do more. Until next time. You know the drill. Please like, subscribe, share. I'd like to see Mad Mo cooking and brewing take off a little bit this year. So I'm going to start pushing it soon. Thanks, everyone.